Hello everyone and peace of the Lord with all of you. Today we are going to answer Abdul's questions. Now those Abdul's questions, they are just repeating questions. It's not really to ask, it's just to question. And there's a huge difference between somebody asked to learn and somebody asked to question. Because even the one who made the questions, he don't understand the question. And this is very normal in Islamic cult. Islam as a cult, question everybody but it doesn't question itself as an example the muslim they speak too much about tawheed but tawheed in arabic mean unification so how you believe in tawheed why you don't question even the word which is very stupid word to use if you believe in one god tawheed according to you the way you you come with it should be the last word to be used to describe your god but yet, with the foolishness of those who believe in this cult, they keep using Tawheed. In front of me, there's an article. It says, who invented the Trinity? Actually, this is a very good question. Who invented the, Christian, the, 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 the Trinity? You know, uh, sometime the cult of the Muhammadan is the same as a camel he don't have a mirror and he is making fun of other camel because he have something funny in his back and he said to him ha, ha, look at your back it look funny <laughs> look at your back but he himself is a camel and he have the same in his back and we are going to prove that to you now one of the abdul's in the chat he said i hope you will explain the trinity without using islamic uh, reference why you don't want me to use Islamic reference you are a Muslim we are answering Muslims and I will use your logic to beat you however we will explain the Trinity without using Islamic reference in the beginning simply when somebody says to me what is the Trinity Trinity three person one God okay explain the Trinity I just told you three person one God no no explain the Trinity I just told you God in three person but yet he is one God how very simple if I say to you water is a three but one are you going to say this is a lie but if I say to you water is a three but one few centuries ago you will laugh at me correct because what you see between your hand is just water. You don't see three, you don't see four, you don't see five. But today, because human beings, they get smarter and they were able to study the nature of the water. So they come to understand it, that it is three, which is one. Now, can you explain to me the water? To make it simple, I just showed you the water is a three but one. Are you going to, to keep repeating the question how this happened? Well, this is how it is. Unless you are just asking questions to make fun. When you're God in the Quran, he said, in chapter 21, verse number 30, that we made from the water every living thing. Why you don't ask Allah why he made every living water, which is a three, contain a three, every living thing made from water? Which means your God saying that every living thing have the Trinity. Not me. Guys, does it say that? Does it say we made every living thing from water? One God, one creation, one fingerprint. Every creature in this earth have the Trinity. In his construction, in his nature, in his building, in his body. Which means we cannot live without the Trinity, according to your Quran. 
So what is the secret behind that everything is based on the Trinity? And remember, I'm using your logic, you know, your Quran, not my book. So here we see Muslims, they ask just to question, not to know. If we ask the Muslims who is Allah, they do not know who is Allah. What is in the word Allah mean? They do not know. Everybody give you his own uh, uh, fabrication. Allah is a word mean God. That's a lie. It's a name. That's a big fat lie. And Islam does not teach that. Allah is a name of the God. This is why you say there's no God but Allah. You don't say no Allah but Allah. Now what Allah mean? You do not know. What Allah is made from, you do not know. You know nothing about Allah, but yet you question the Trinity. This is the only thing you have. They've been told that Allah is one. Well, even the Quran speak clearly that cannot that cannot be true, and I will prove it. If we go in the Quran. <clears throat> We find this. And I find it really funny. First. In chapter 21, verse number 17. Allah speaking about if he want to have sex. If he want to have sex. He used in Arabic the word Ladunna. Ladunna here translated by the Muslims, not by me. Us. This is your translation, not my translation. If Allah wants to have a wife, which means he want to have a son, want to do boom boom, Allah will do that with us. Okay, Allah is one. But Allah is going to have sex with us. Who is us? Who is the Muslim volunteer Abdul who is super intelligent? He want to tell me that Allah is one, but yet Allah the one is going to have sex with Allah the one. Any Abdul? You see, when we say to them, Allah, he say, we, they say, we is a majestic statement. It doesn't mean that he, Allah is a, is a pearl, you know, it's a pearl name. Yes, but it's just we, like he's a king. But this is not about we no more. This is Allah having sex with someone else. Who is else? Us. Explain that to me. Who is us? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? He can tell us what is us. So your God, Allah, cannot be one. Because if he is one, he will not say, if I want to have a wife, I will take it from us. You see, to say from, actually in Arabic, is it's not even us. It's more than us. Laduna, it's our kind. Our kind. What is the kind of Allah? There's there's someone else from his kind. Yes, obviously. As you see, there's a wife, there's a son, if he wish, but he don't desire. If we are going to do that, if we are going to do that, but if if we are going to do that, does not. It's not a negative thing. It's mean if it's mean it's possible. What is possible is if Allah want to have a wife in the bed, it's possible if he want. Now a Muslim he will say, oh, but he don't. Who care? You see, in order for me to have a wife, that means there is a wife. It's possible, but I don't want to get married. As simple as that. And the second you say that Allah want to have a wife, that means this wife she have to be from his kind. You cannot marry a dog to a mule. You cannot marry a chicken to a goat. 
The chicken should go with the chicken. The goat go with the goat. The dog go with the dog. So when the Quran says, if you want to have a wife, now you need to explain to me how this wife is from ourself. I thought Allah is one. Our God, for he is almighty God, he did not need a wife to have a son. And that is a very logical, for he is God almighty. Your God, he cannot have a wife, he cannot have a son unless he have a wife. And by the way, this is not only here, this is in many other verses in the Quran. The Quran full of this madness. Read with me. Each time we speak to Muslims, they repeat questions, not to ask questions. But just because they copy-paste. By the way, the translation is not accurate. This is the Muslim translation. We are going with it. He is the originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have the children when he has no son, who has no wife? In Arabic, it doesn't say wife. It says sahiba, girlfriend. But we will go with it. Okay. When Allah supposed he is talking, obviously it cannot be Allah, because if Allah is talking, if he is a true exist, he would not say it is he. He should say I. But the author of the Quran, always he forget to switch between I and he. So he is the originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a child if he don't have a wife? So what the verse here confirmed to us that the God of Islam is limited in power and he cannot have a child unless he had a wife a muslim abdul they might say to you oh here allah is speaking our logic because we know that we cannot have a child unless we have a wife that's wrong that's wrong because that would be a contradiction for the quran the Quran speak about Mary, the mother of Jesus, that she don't have a husband, yet she have a child. So if it is not possible, and if this is the logic, why Jesus, he have no father? The logic is broken. Here we go. We have somebody in Islam. He is born, but yet his mother, she don't have a man. So when Allah says, how can he have a son without having a wife? That's confirmed that the miracle of Jesus have nothing to do with Allah because Allah himself cannot have a child for his own unless he have a wife. The God of Christianity, he can make Mary deliver a child, yet she don't have a man. Are we following, guys? We have Mr. Ali is calling me names. Mr. Ali, why you are using the word piss? The only prophet in the whole world who order you to drink piss is your prophet. So I understand why you are attached to that word. So as you see, the God of Islam, he questioned ability. Who is the one who questioned the ability of Allah? Allah, how can he? Do you see it? You see, when I say how can, that's mean he cannot. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? Allah cannot. So Allah, he want to have sex. But now he don't want to have sex. Or if he want. But if he want, he is going to have sex with his kind. Yet the Muslims, they give us headache 24 hours, 7 days a week, that their God is one God, but yet he want to have sex with ourself. Who is the ourself? They have no answer. If Allah is one, 
how he will have sex with us who is us Allah is going to have sex with himself and that is us do we have any Muslim here when I explain to us so it's obviously Allah cannot be one he cannot even be zero for he is not exist the one who wrote those verses is an idiot he have he, he copy a, 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 a false God exists before Islam the moon God lah and he made it his God too. this is why the Muslim do not know even what the word lah or Allah mean not a single Muslim knows what Allah mean not a single Muslim knows what Israel mean not a single Muslim knows what Abraham mean what Moses mean what Isa mean what Mary mean what Ishmael mean I mean so what this religion is about because this is a counterfeit religion Islam is a counterfeit religion for other beliefs this is why they know nothing you see how many Muslims right away in the chat now if we ask any one of them what Israel mean who is the Muslim want to tell me who is a Muslim want to tell me the Quran keeps saying Israel what Israel mean and who is Israel from the Quran any Abdul zero they know nothing it's a counterfeit cult. What Isa mean? They don't know. What Al Masih mean? They do not know. What Mary mean? They do not know. What Jibreel mean? I mean Jibreel. They don't know. What Mikael mean? They do not know. What Israfil mean? They do not know. What Iblis mean? They don't know. They don't know. It is a religion very well known as a religion of I don't know Allah knows best Allah knows best but they don't even know who is Allah now here we proving that Allah cannot be one God now what about the Bible is the God of the Bible one God absolutely we have tons of verses all over the Bible. Say it clearly in the Old Testament and the New Testament that your God is one. We have one God. We are the one who have one God. The Trinity never was and never been understood by the Christians as three gods. So when you say that one plus one plus one, that is your fabrication. I challenge any Abdul to show me where in the Bible it says such a formula that we Christians believe in one plus one plus one we don't you're a liar it is you who believe in one plus one plus one and I will show it to you we just showed you the example that Allah he created everything from water and the water is made from H2O so everything according to the Quran have the fingerprint of God of Trinity the trees is it is made of water human made of water the Quran saying that not me the birds the plant every living thing is made from water and water is a Trinity what else it is you Muslims who believe that one plus one plus one is one and we will show you that from the Quran let us open the yellow pages of, of Muhammad <clears throat> read with me and try not to laugh the same verse in the Quran which is fighting the Trinity is the same verse confirming the Trinity and if you don't like a translation we are using tell me what translation you like I don't accept any Islamic translation anyway I'm just using your mouth to expose you this is Allah supposedly talking not Muhammad this is Allah and Allah there is no way he will speak foolishness if there is any Muslim in the chat he believe Allah will speak foolishness please if you think Allah will speak foolishness give me one if you are a Muslim only Muslim please if there's any Muhammadan in the bushes he agree that Allah speak foolishness okay nobody agree that Allah speak foolishness 
I agree that Allah speak foolishness and I will prove it in a second Oh people of the book commit no excuse in your religion so Allah speaking to us people of the book this is not the Hindus Allah by the way never heard of the Hindus and the Buddhas that's it there's only Christian and Jews and the people of Quraysh Allah is very limited in knowledge the whole Quran never mentioned any religion except those so people of the book commit no excuse in your religion nor say Allah but the truth Jesus Christ the son of Mary was and between two bracket no more but this is not in the Quran this is in, in, uh, explanation he was a messenger of Allah okay what is Jesus take a note please Allah is talking please show respect otherwise Allah will make you a pig or a monkey as he did to the Jews actually in the other day I woke up in the morning and I found myself look like a bear but I ask Allah forgiveness and now I look like a giraffe thank you Allah so Jesus is what is a messenger of Allah okay what messenger messenger for mankind he's a man so he's a man that's wonderful and he is the word of Allah okay so Jesus now is a messenger and he is a word of Allah his word not only a word his word wonderful and this word was bestowed in Mary which means Jesus was coming or came from above he bestowed upon Mary he is not in the earth that means Jesus from above but we will add that to the note in the side and then he says and he is a spirit proceeding from Allah hold on that is a three three but one Jesus is the man Jesus is the word Jesus is the spirit this is what the Quran is saying any Muslim want to say to me you are lying the stupid God in the stupid Quran saying that say no Trinity read with me say no Trinity but you just say the Trinity you idiot you just say it and by the way we don't believe in this I mean this is your belief me myself I don't believe that Jesus is what you are saying you know nothing about Jesus you Muslims I'm showing you the stupidity in your book Jesus is a man he's a messenger who is talking Allah the God of the Abdul be my witness not me so this is number one the Abdul God said Jesus is a messenger he is a man okay and what is number two Jesus is the word that's wonderful and Jesus is a spirit that's number three that's fantastic so how you dummy you deny in the same verse saying to us say no Trinity in the same time you just said say Trinity how Jesus is one but he is a three do we have any Muhammadan in the bushes do we have any Muhammadan in the bushes and do you see why they don't dare to debate me potatoes 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 they give us headache 24 hours seven days a week stupid trinity ha 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 it's your quran teaching the trinity the same verse says, says no trinity is the same verse just to prove the trinity to be true you can be three in the one in the same time let me describe for you how the Muslims look for me according to the Quran the Quran always like to insult the Christians I hope we will not lose electricity we have a tornado coming if I lose electricity guys maybe later I will go again afternoon I don't know if you can hear the thunder 
we have a thunder and we have tornado warning If I lose connection, don't be worried. Be happy. I'm fine. I have God protection. Chapter 62, verse number 5. Suppose this verse is speaking about the Jews, but the fact it speak about the Muslims. The similarity of those who were in charge of the Mosaic law, the Torah, is the same as a donkey which carries a huge books oh boy did you hear it that's very nice i like it trust me the earth was shaking i don't know if you can hear that sound how it was that the earth literally was shaking. Uh, and by the way, as long as we are talking about uh, the, the, the thunder, according to the God of Islam, which he is not a donkey, as the verse here, suppose the Allah is a person who understands the Torah. Let me show you how Allah understands the Torah. All of us, we knew that the Torah teach that eye for an eye, right? Have you ever heard of a donkey explain the Torah in such a way as you will see in a second? I think we will lose electricity. Doing a bit. Oh boy. That's crazy outside. Chapter 2, verse 2, 178. The God of Islam who is saying to the Jews, you are like a donkey who carried the book because you didn't understand it. Supposedly now he is going to explain to us the Torah. This is his book. So he said, in the law of murder, in the case of murder, the punishment is a free for a free and slave for a slave and women for a woman. So if I kill a free man, a free man will be killed. If a free man kill a slave, a free man will not be killed. We kill his slave. If I kill a woman, the women, I will not be killed. The women will be killed. My wife will be killed. Have you ever heard of a donkey better than this? This is what eye for an eye is? Eye for an eye. If you kill my slave, I kill your slave. If you kill me as a free, I kill you as a free. If I kill a woman, you kill a woman? So if I kill your wife, and then the punishment is eye for an eye. Okay, you kill my wife. And the Muslim, they say to you, later this verse was abrogated. Hold on, why he abrogated Allah? Because he found that it's stupid and people start complaining. You know what I mean? I'm going to speak faster because I think things are getting worse. I don't want to get my computer burned. Uh, as you see in front of you, the God of Islam do not understand even a little logic in the Old Testament. So how he can explain any logic in the New Testament? How Allah, he says, if he is God, if we want to have sex, we will have sex with ourselves. That is stupid. That is literally stupid. And by the way, those we are talking about thunder, if you, in case you do not know, the Quran and the Muslims, the Abdul, they believe that thunder is an angel. You know that, don't you? I mean, those who follow us and they learn from us here, they know already that thunder is an angel it's not a metaphorical thing okay it is literally an angel if you go to chapter 13 verse number 13 in the quran you will see it says that the thunder is an angel and he is in charge of the cloud 
so the God who believed that thunder is an angel in charge of the cloud he is the one who will explain to us what is the Trinity and by the way in, in the Quran you will not find that Allah he understand even the Trinity in the Quran the God of the Quran he think that the Christian believe that Jesus is the son of Allah and he is and his mother and Allah are the Trinity which again showing us the foolishness of Muhammad and by the way the angel thunder is just I see him from my window now and look like he is saying hello he say hello to everybody so he is a thunder an angel who is in charge of the cloud Muslims who is in charge of your brain And the thunder he have 70,000 angel in the right side of his hand and 70,000 angel in the left side of his hand When they asked the Prophet, what is the fire belt we see? He said this is the belt. He beat the cloud with it True story Brothers and sisters, I see now the angel thunder is beating the cloud with his belt So how we can come with the, such a God and this God will explain to us what is right and what is wrong a God who he think that if a woman have orgasm first the baby will be a girl a God who he think that men have a sperm coming from their backbone and the women have a sperm coming from their nipples or a little bit higher your God cannot understand anything how you can come to me with the logic of your foolish God and you say to me let us see what our God says you cannot tell us the nature of your God you cannot tell us who is your God or what you say to us he is the creator with the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators and this is additional proof that Allah is a stupid God because if Allah is a smart God he should not say he is the best of the creators because there's no other creators The Muslims, in order to solve this stupidity, they say, well, don't you create a bicycle, brother? No. I did not create a bicycle. This is an invention. This is not a creation. The creation in the meaning of religion is creating everything. Every living thing is made from water. We just showed you the verse. Every living thing is made of water. That is a creation. Your God is talking, not me. The bicycle is not a living thing. So this God cannot explain to us anything. How Allah He says He is the best of the creators. And look at the false translation, they say the best to create. It doesn't say that, it's a lie. It says the best of the creators, liars. Liars, liars will end in fire. They are ashamed of their book. So they say Allah is the best of the creators. It does not say that. Change the translator, the translation change in a miraculous way. Look what happened. Why in Yusuf Ali there's no creators? But here we have creators. But both of them they are Muslims. Do you understand, guys? So how the Trinity is what God is it this is how God he is what about we ask you how God is God how God he says be is going to be why well, you don't ask those questions then if you are a person if of dignity if you have a dignity really and you want to question the nature of God why you don't question your God nature The God who said, "I will, if I want to have sex, I will have it with ourselves." 
explain to us he is one but he is going to if us so us is if in us so now we have to us the first us is Allah the second us is who Allah Allah is going to marry Allah if Allah is one why the hadith said that Allah will come to you in a shape and he his shape you don't like it have you ever heard of a madness like this any Abdul Let us read together. Hold on, let us get the reference faster. Oh, look like the tornado stopped. All right. Read carefully with me. This is your Allah, and your Prophet is speaking, and this is Al-Bukhari, don't tell me it's weak. Honestly, if you say to me the Bukhari is weak, I will go and I will arrest Al-Bukhari. How many Allah you Muslims have? The answer they will say to us, one Allah. Okay, nice to meet you, one Allah. So Allah have one Allah, but he have many shapes? Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know other than they know who is the Muslim Abdul when I explain to us what the smart Muhammad is saying what is the shape you know for Allah any Muslim have an idea guys is my question valid question it says Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know okay what the shape you know Muslims any Muhammadan square Tringle, Santa Claus, what is that? So, when Muhammad he speak, no Muslim dare to ask himself how stupid that is. In a shape we know, as we uh, uh, did, we did you see Allah before Muslims? Did you see him in a shape before? If you did. I am waiting for you to tell me what is the shape of Allah. Secondly, when Allah come to you in the shape other than the one you know, that means there's two shapes now. Correct, guys? Is that correct? If I say to you, I came to them in a shape other than the one you saw me first time, that's mean I am now two. How Allah have two shapes but one God? Shape is a physical, physical body. It's a physique. When we say shape, we are talking about dimension. Is that correct, guys? Isn't it what scientifically this is mean? When we say a shape, there's dimension. Whatever the dimension is, how big, how small, doesn't matter. So now we have two dimensions for Allah. How Allah is one, but he have two dimensions. He have two shape. Which one of them is Allah? Both of them, they are Allah. So how Allah can be both, yet He is one. Iskander has a challenge for me in Facebook. 
Okay, Iskandar, give me your uh, give me your. I I'm not going to verify you just for because today uh, I wanna I wanna I wanna have some snack. So give me your uh, your pal talk ID and I will call you. Iskandar, give me your pal talk ID and I will call you. What he? Uh, where is this guy, Iskandar? Are you there, Iskandar? What is your pal talk? I will call you. Skype? No, make a pal. Pal talk is the same as a Skype anyway, and uh, Skype is not useful for me anymore. I told you why. I mean, what he will lose? It's the same, you know. Talk to me. The purpose is talking to me. Both of them, they are free program. And it take two minutes to download pal talk and make an ID. Make an ID and give me your ID, and I will call you. I want you to give me one reason to convert to Christianity. I don't want you to convert to Christianity. Stay, worship the leg of Allah, my friend. The leg of Allah is so sexy. So you are wanna, you want to call me? You want to call me to say to me, give me a reason to convert to Christianity? Who said I want you to convert to Christianity? Stay as a fool. Stay believe that there is a God who have many shapes. Stay believe that God in the judgment day will explode will explode his shin. Stay believe in a God who says to you that the sperm coming from the backbone. Oh, my backbone is hurt. Because yesterday I donated a lot of a sperm for the sperm bank. Stay believe in Allah, the God who says that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs, the location of the necklace. The one who said that the sperm became a blood, did the blood. Congeal the blood. Why you want to believe in Jesus? Don't go, my friend. Stay believing Allah, the one who will give you a lot of women, and they are all naked. And he will give you endless penis. I mean, it's obvious that Allah is the true God. I mean, if Allah is not a true God, why he is giving you an endless penis? Think about it. Can you imagine how much money you can make from endless penis? Number one, I can make a contract with many, many, many oil companies to pipe or to pump oils in the penis to different galaxy we can supply satellite we can supply a, a, a spaceship with oil by the endless penis why you want to leave islam who said to you i am trying to make you leave islam please stay as a muslim and not to forget to mention that your wife in heaven her ass will be one mile we Arab, we like big ass. We have to be honest. One mile ass, brother. Don't think about her underwear. We will buy it. Allah will provide. Iskander one ten. Is that his? Uh, is his, this is his ID in Paltok? Did he make an ID in, uh, in Paltok? Are you there, Iskander? <clears throat> Is that in Palto, guys? Uh, we have a... Okay, I will call you, Iskander. Hold on. We have a Muslim. He says, CP, the businessman. The businessman is Allah. Let me show you from the Quran. Isn't it Allah who described his religion as a business? Read with me. Why do you see me asking asking people if you give me money you will go to heaven? Hey guys, did you ever heard a Christian prince saying if you give a Christian prince money you will go to heaven? Did I? It's your God Allah who do business and he described Allah as a business. Let us read together and see who is the one describe it as a business. <clears throat> Let us see. It is absolutely a business. A business. All the verses in the front of us speaking about merchandise. About what? Merchandise. What is the merchandise? Merchandise of Allah.
Is that my translation or your translation? The Muhammadan Raza. If Islam is not a merchandise, it's not a commerce, why Allah He describe it as a business and it's a merchandise? Muhammad saying, should I guide you for a good merchandise? And what is the merchandise? You give Muhammad money, Allah forgive your sin. Let us see. Are we lying? No. No money, no honey. Chapter 64, verse number 17. As an example, there's many verses like this. If you lend Allah a goodly loan, i.e. spend in the cause of Allah, he will double it for you and he will forgive you. It's your God who says that if you spend money giving it to Muhammad, Allah will forgive you. Automatic forgiveness. Let me open Skype so we can hear this uh, gentleman who want to call me. Uh, give me a guy again, guys. Uh, the the name Skander. Skander, what Skander? What was his name? Skander Ten. Give me his name, his ID in Pal Talk, please. <clears throat> okay, we got. It. Thank you. Pal talk, pal talk. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Pal talk, pal talk. <clears throat> All right, we are in pal talk. Let us add you. Search for your name. And please uh, add me immediately. Search pal talk. All right, here we go. I just added you, Mr. Skander. Uh, let me be sure that's my pal talk. <coughs> Audio is fine. Give me a second, please. One, two, one, two. All right, look like we are fine. Let us try. All right, Iskander, I'm going to call you. Are you ready, my friend? All right. Hello. Hello. I hope Skander, you don't. Do you have a microphone, Skander? Hello. Hello. I mean, he answered the line, but he is not talking. Are you there? We could not start. Okay. Are you there, my friend? I will call you again. Yeah, he hang up actually himself. Go to uh, go to the reference and be sure that your audio is hooked up. Go to reference to be sure. You know, click at the top and pal talk, and then go to preference, and then you will see it says audio, video audio. Click in it, and if you see the volume of the microphone working, that's what we want. And let us call you again. Hello. Okay, look like Alexander. He is just playing games. Are you there, Alexander? I hear something. Hello. Okay, I think he's just a kid. Anyone else?
what you have I'm calling you you are not uh, talking you stick to me some issue give me five minutes I will give you five hours I will give you five years no problem he said give me five minutes to fix it don't forget a brother before you start to say inshallah Prophet Solomon he had sex with 99 wives and because he forgot to say inshallah Allah gave him half a child If you are a Muslim and you have knowledge, you like to talk to us, please feel free. No problem, Alexander. Fix it. We are here. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Yeah, from now on we will use Pal Talk. It's a very easy program to use. It's for free. It's better than Skype and the better control. Do we have any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. Anyone he wanna give Allah alone? Tadadun, tadadun. Uh, brother, I want to give Allah alone. Brother, I will give it to who, brother? Give it to Prophet Muhammad. Oh, the uh, Muhammad is the bank of Allah. And brother, is he going to give me a receipt, brother? Sure, sure, brother. Hello? Hello? I hear you now. Don't tell me your mic is not working. We heard something. You are lighting a cigarette or something. Are you there? Yes. Go ahead. We hear you. Why he hang up? <laughs> I mean, you could not get me somebody to speak to me except a guy who his microphone will never work. But we heard he was lighting a cigarette. I mean, it's working, right? I heard it like, you know, you can tell he was. Uh... And we heard him talking, actually. If there is any additional Abdul would like to call us. Anyone? Excuse me, this is my first time using the app. I'm figuring out how to fix. Um, okay, that's helping. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's just, uh, you know, did not know how to use it. I want to silence this puck puck. It's like a frog. It make a noise when you send a text in this program. Let us see where we can change that. Uh, <clears throat> you see it when he texts me, you hear it, right? Where we can stop that? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm, yeah, sound and notification. Come on, line off. Send me M off. Uh, off. Off.
All right, we turned all of this uh, alarming stuff off. Do we have any Muslim here? Now, we go back to Allah who has many shapes. The God of many shapes. When Allah, he made himself in a new shape, what happened to the first shape? You see, you Muslims, you say to us how the Trinity is. Well, this is how God is. You about to question your God how Allah have many shapes one why he why he's playing hide-and-seek what is what is the point of this stupid story if you read this stupid story you find there's never no reason for it because now there's no surprise anymore we know Allah will come to us in different shapes so why we will say to him you are not Allah I mean that, do you see how stupid the story Muhammad told us that Allah will come to us in different shape so why now we will stay still say to him you are not Allah Muhammad told us this is Allah Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and he will say I am Allah your Lord they will say oh, Abdul, you know Allah, what are you talking about you are not Allah we seek refuge with Allah from you okay so now we seek refuge by Allah from Allah which Allah is the one is your God and as long you know now that Allah will come to you in other shape why you will say to him still the same and Muhammad he he killed the surprise if the point of this game is hide and seek or like I say uh, what they call it what is the what is the pagan practice they do in uh, Halloween if this is Halloween will the Halloween is uh, no surprise now we Allah Allah will come to us in different shapes so we know he's Allah so we should not say to him time you are not Allah why you are saying to him you are not Allah I mean, what kind of a prophecy the prophecy is? He killed, he killed the surprise. So now Allah, the poor Allah, he go change his look and he came back and he will say to him, you are not Allah, but we know that you are Allah because the prophet told us that you are Allah. But now we have to say we seek refuge from Allah because the prophet said we should say that. Hello? Which Allah is the first? And, and, and you Muslims, just because Allah, he changed his shape, you spit at him? I mean, shame on you. Show respect. What if Allah come to you wearing a short? Hmm? What if Allah, he came to you, you know, not only in different shape, he have a, like a Hawaii uh, t-shirt. And wearing a short and... Uh, uh, he have a uh, like uh, the versions with him wearing bikini you say to him you are not Allah so this is how you recognize your God by images by shapes why I mean since when we recognize God by a shape what is the shape you recognize him why the Muslim don't tell us what is the shape who is the Muslim when I tell us what is the shape of Allah which we can recognize him with penguin Duck, Zaraf, what is the shape? And what is the point of this shape? I mean, by the way, guys, we are going to start uh, maybe from the coming broadcast to do broadcast in my other account. If the admin can post the other account for Christian Prince, the one I did last time broadcasting, that will be appreciated. Uh, because always we want to build the backup accounts for our accounts. So in case you will not. And always, if something happened to any of my account, how you will find where I am? The answer is very simple. You go to minds.com. And the last link for the last video will be there is going to be my active if if this account disappear one day you never know 
I mean, uh, YouTube, uh, they are liberals, you know, they are against saying the truth. They say the truth, they go all over you. Right? So I hope that many of you will sign and will make an account there, even though I keep saying, please do go there, but nobody listen. And you can subscribe to my Instagram because I will mention that in Instagram too. All right. I called you in bad. No, give me your account first, uh, Habib, uh, because maybe you cannot call me because I have to add you first. Maybe you do not know how to use Paltalk. So give me your account in Paltalk and I will call you. Give me your ID in Paltalk, Mr. Habib. See, guys, uh, Phil, he is posting my account in YouTube. So please click in that and subscribe. For next time, mostly, I'm going to be broadcasting there for maybe a few weeks. All right? So if you are waiting for Arabian Prophet to go online, you will not see Arabian Prophet online you, because I will be there. So please subscribe to that channel if you don't mind. The link is posted for you. They are posting the link for you. You don't see it? It's in the front of you. In the chat, in the chat. This is the this is the account, the YouTube account I'm going to use for a few weeks. Or maybe two months, I don't know. Uh, and the reason, even though I'm, I'm sure that many of you will not subscribe because you are lazy, a human being is very lazy. Unbelievable how lazy is. You see, God, he made a human being like sex because he is lazy. Because if he don't like it, he will not do it. Like the wife, she will say, uh, uh, honey, can we make some babies? Uh, <laughs> I was working all day. Come on, call the neighbor. <laughs> hey, Abdul, uh, godless. Okay, your name is godless. Okay, let me. Let, uh, this is godless, the kid. Okay, okay. Let me find you a new in Nepal talk and I will call you. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I added you. And we will call you. Here we go. Maybe you are adding even the wrong number or wrong name. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me very good? I hear How's you very sound? good. I hear you very good. So what do you want to say to us? Um, okay, you you said you're going to spank me. No, I will not spank you. You know, you don't deserve that yet. Let us see. You earn it. You earn it only. So we don't give it for free. You have to earn it first. So what do you want to say to us? Okay. Come on, try your best. Okay, here we go. We have, a, we have your prophet saying that Allah will come to you in different shape. What is the shape of Allah which you know, as the hadith says? Where did you get that from? Your prophet, I just said your prophet. Did I say your prophet said that? I just said your prophet show, said show that. Me. Hmm. Yes, some... but where where did you get that from? Is that ask your Quran? prophet where he got that from. Don't ask me. I said your prophet said that. You are asking me where I get it from. It's your prophet. Ask your prophet. Yes, but I can yes, but I can say Jesus said something, and then if I don't show evidence, then what? What evidence? So are you saying your prophet is as a liar? No, but what if you are making it up? I'm showing it on the screen. This is Hadith. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Here we go. And this oh, is the reference. I, yeah, well, I don't trust Hadith. I don't, uh, for me, only... Quran so what do you I what do you trust? What do you trust? Are you saying it to me you don't trust uh, your Prophet? No, but the, the Sahih al-Bukhari came 200 years after Muhammad. How well, okay, I, uh, uh, okay, the Quran came 300 years after Muhammad. No, it came 150 okay, years. No, hold on. How many years? 150 150 by some scholars where, where is yes. where is what is the Quran which is written 150 
Jiggy, jiggy. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Donkey. Yeah, I know it's him actually, the kid. He's just uh stupid people. Block. Here we go. What is the guy uh Alexander? What happened to him? Hello. See guys, the sound in Pal Talk is really good, right? Isn't it the sound in Pal Talk is good? It's better than Skype. It's more convenient and it's for free. Okay. Yeah, he's just a kid. It's okay. Low life. This guy, one day he will have a wife. You believe it? Or maybe he have a wife already. <laughs> I feel sorry for his family. I'm sure his mom, she is proud about him. Anyway. What happened to Alexander? Alexander, are you there, my friend? I mean, all this time you are fixing it? Let us call him again. Hello? Hello? Okay, sorry, Alexander. I have to remove you from Palto because obviously either you are playing a game because we heard you before. I heard him, right? I heard the sound. He is not talking. We are kids. Do we have any Muslim, brave Muslim? He have something to say. Anyone? No, we don't want to talk about nikah now because, uh, you know, this is uh, my mom. She told me don't talk about nikah. When you will live together with David Wood, I say never. For a very simple reason. There's people they say they want to speak to me, but they never do that. So I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> I predict that never will happen. Prove me wrong. I'm just predicting. Any Abdul? As you see, you know, we give them opportunity, even though speaking to Muslims, by the way, they are useless because they don't know what they are talking about. I never heard of a Muslim who knew what Islam is about. They know nothing. They do not know what Allah means. They do not know what. Like, ask any Abdul, any any simpler question. He don't know. They are just copy paste people. Even the question they they ask you is not even their own question. You see, when somebody speak to us and say how God can be in three person well how God can be God if he is God then why you are questioning his ability why you call him God if you question his ability to be three and one in the same time you know what I mean guys if that is impossible that means he, it's impossible for him to be God why you call him Almighty Do you understand me, people? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Either we believe he's God and he is capable and he is whatever he is, he want to be or he is, or he is not God. So why you don't ask him why you are God? Okay, uh, he have a power. Okay, why you have a power? And why because you have a power you became God? Ask him. They will not dare to ask a question even how the five fingers of Allah look like. And by the way, why Allah have five fingers? Why Allah have a hand? 
so the Muslims they see that it's very logical for them to question everything about our God but they don't want to ask anything about their God the nature of their God what your God is made of what our God is a, sp a spirit your God is not he's a physical being and here we go he's a shape the shape of Allah is made from what silicone huh uh, little don't worry I will add the admins there I will add them later when we go in the chat there uh, you know just text I will add you as an admin hey guys don't forget please the admins to remind people that we will start doing live podcasts in the other account so they can subscribe otherwise you will miss it I might do like a uh, announcement in this account and post a link and underneath so people will know where to find me but please subscribe to the other account where we are going to go and do a live broadcast and for you what it make a different I mean it's the same for us it's just a backup starting when starting from now we just told you I'm just waiting for the confirmation of the shape of Allah. Actually, once I saw the shape of Allah, to be honest with you. I was in the airplane and there was a lady next to me and she was so big. She slept and her head became in my shoulder. And then the girl, she worked in the airline, she came and she said, Sir, what do you want for your wife? And I was looking, what? She's my wife now. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got I got inside the airplane as single, and then I I turned after sitting as a, as a married, and now the women next to me, you know, I'm not making fun of how, you know, God bless her, she's so big. But man, and her head in my shoulder, I was shy to say, move your head. You know, like, oof. Any Abdul? Any Muslim? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? So look, you do not know even what the Trinity is. You do not know even what Allah is. You do not know what Islam is about. You do not know, by the, by the way, if we go in the Quran, if we go in the first verse in the Quran, what we will find? Trinity. Everything in the cult of Islam is based on Trinity. Chapter 1, verse number 1, Allah have three names. Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Why? Islam based on three persons. Allah, Jibreel, and Muhammad. Why? Hmm? Any Muslim have an idea? Why it's based on three? What about four? What about five? Why Allah he present to himself by three names? What about four names? Allah have 99 names, which is multiply of number three. I mean, you Islam, or all, all of Islam is based on the Trinity. Allah told Mary to fast for three days, not to talk, fasting, fasting of not talking, for three days. Allah made Zechariah mute for three days. If you commit sin, brother, you have to fast for three days. If you take an oath, you have to say it three times. 
if you do ablution, you have to wipe your face, your finger, your nose three times, your, your your feet. If you divorce your wife three times, she cannot get back to you. And you are talking about the Trinity. Everything in your cult is based on the Trinity. Please subscribe to the link you see in the screen there. The YouTube. The admins are posting, if you don't mind. That will be our new uh, broadcast channel, temporarily. And nothing will change. It's a Christian prince anyway. What you will lose? Trust me, it's me. It's just different channel there we have only 4,000 subscribers here we have tens of thousands so we want to make a balance all right so let me post it for you maybe you don't see the admin maybe you will see me oh this is my channel sorry hold on I posted the wrong channel. This is this is the same channel. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the one. Let me post it for you. All right, you see it now? To the correct one. Yeah, I have to post it three times, sorry. And by the way, even Muhammad, when he enter a place, do you know that he say Assalamu Alaikum three times? Assalamu Alaikum. You say to him, Wa Alaikum Assalam. Then he say, Assalamu Alaikum. And then you say again, Assalamu Alaikum Assalam. And then he say, Assalamu I mean, how boring. Imagine somebody call you on the phone and he said to you, Assalamu alaikum. You say, Wa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Assalamu. So don't open a customer service in the Middle East. You will spend the whole day saying, Assalamu alaikum. Free time. No, no, we are not using Arab for Christ. We are using. You are, they are not posting for you Arab for Christ, are they? Hold on. No, not our for Christ. That one is a Christian prince. Right now we have 4,209 subscribers. This is the account. This is me going for hunting. Who of you like, uh, who have a hobby of guns? If you like to go hunting with me, let me know, brother. I'm just, I'm joking. This is not my picture. I mean, why I want to wear all of this to go for hunting? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> all right. Just subscribe, guys. Again, uh, uh, if you like to join us, because the Arabian prophet will go and sleep for a while, just to make a balance, because here we have a lot of subscribers. There we have almost nothing. We have only 4,000. Yeah, I you know I like I like weapon to be honest with you. I it's my hobby. This is have nothing to do with the I, you know since I was a kid I like weapon. You know. But I am uh, harmless. I harm no one. Uh, you know. And I'm always uh, scared. Like I go in the wood and I start saying assalamu alaikum. Have you ever heard of a prophet he speak to the tree saying to her assalamu alaikum? And then he speak to the rocks, and the rocks, the rocks answer back, and they say to him, Wa alaikum as -salam. Saudi Arabia executed 37, one got crucified. Yeah, this is Islam, I mean. Where is Trump? You don't, uh, where is your uh, Western leaders who speak for human rights? Where is those liberals? Eh, eh. Who there? They shut up.
So there's no Muslim want to call me in pal talk. Or is that final? So don't say an executive a Christian prince is not taking your calls. Here we go. We open uh, the call for you. Just give me your ID in pal talk. I will give you a call. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad forget about Allah have a shape and Allah will come in different shape, which is a very funny story. Unbelievable. Guys, if I come to you in different shape, you will recognize me. Sure, because you don't know my shape. You know my voice. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, once I was doing a seminar in the Philippines, and there's two girls, they came, and I was talking, you know, after the seminar, people, they come shake hands with you. But I noticed that one of them, she's pushing the other one, saying, talk to him, ask him, ask him. So, uh, you know, I said, how I can help you? Uh, she said, I have a question. I said, okay. She said, are you? And she, she's very nervous. She said, are you Christian Prince? I said, yeah. The other one, she said, see, I told you. <laughs> this is his voice. Unbelievable. I, I want to change my voice. You know, I want to change it. I want to talk like this when I go to the seminars. But the editor. They're the person that named the Christian Prince, and he always tried to make fun of Islam. And he is very funny. I have to admit, he's very funny. But the fact he is very liar too. He lied a lot. Other example, he said the Quran said that the sperm comes from the backbone. The fact the Quran does not say only the sperm comes from the backbone, it said it made in the backbone. And that is you different. Because coming from there does not mean it made in there. So don't Make him must quote the Quran for you, brother and sister. The term it made in the backbone is not coming from the backbone. As an example, if you receive a packet, it says to you it received delivered from the warehouse, but it's not where it made it made in the manufacturer, and the manufacturer is the backbone. This is not where it's coming from. And I do know an abductor. Okay. True story. The he's lying. I mean, he says that the sperm is coming from the backbone. It's not. It's made in the backbone. It's not coming from there. He said you're different. Hmm? I mean, this guy. I feel sorry for him. He feel like he's squeezing himself while he's talking, like you know, like uh, I mean, the words is coming from his stomach. It's not from his. Uh, you. you are a Muslim and you want to ask me? Hmm. Well, we gave you a chance to call me in Pal Talk. You did not. I called you five times. And obviously we heard you even, we heard your voice. But you are playing games. And actually, no, this is this guy. He is not even the, that guy, Iskandar. This is a different guy. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Anyone? How are me? Uh, how are me? Fine. Thank you. Thirsty. How are me? How are you? Uh, it's, it's, this is the same kid who called me a second ago. This is the same kid. Any Abdul? All right. Actually, there's a Abdul from Indonesia. He posted in the battery on for me. And he is the one who says, can you explain this about the Trinity? But as you see, they can explain nothing about their cult. They can't explain what is the shape of Allah they saw first time, what is the shape of Allah they knew, and how Allah can be one, but yet he is two shapes. For us, it's very easy. God, God, he is three person. God is a miracle. Miraculous. And his miraculous way is shown in every creation he had. That is the water which the Quran says, 
we made everything every living thing we made it from water the water is number three so the core of life is water is number three and the Quran confirmed that unless you don't agree with the Quran Muslims maybe you don't I mean I think you don't do you who is a Muslim here don't agree with the Quran anyone by the way the Muslim they say to us why God he came to us as a man I will answer you from the Quran According to Allah and here you will see something very stupid and I want your help guys to tell me What do you see here is a stupid in this verse anyone can tell me before I read anything? I will give you time to read it. What do you think is a stupid in this verse? The one is highlighted chapter 17 verse number 94 Anyone Go debate Ustaz Yahya. Okay, why you don't bring Dahya Yahya to, to debate me? He can call me Yahya. Hey Ustaz Yahya, if you hear me, brother, <laughs> you know, call me, brother. So why do I go and debate him? Why you wanna go? I mean, you, he, I'm here. We are in the internet. He do not need to go. I do not need to come. Hmm. Let him make an account in uh, Pal Talk. I will call him. Look what what the Quran is saying. Nothing prevented men from believing in Allah except that Allah he sent them a human being as a messenger. I mean, how stupid that is. Allah confirming that the reason a human being did not believe in him because he sent him a human as a messenger. But that's mean Allah is a stupid God. Because if you know that this is the reason, then why you don't send them someone else? Do you understand? Here Allah did not say that they did not believe because he is they are bad. No, but because they are looking for a really clear proof. Who are you? So you send us a human being. Maybe he's a liar. So God came to us as a man, but yet he can do what God can do. Jesus forgives sin. Jesus made the blind see. Jesus, he walked in water. Jesus in the Quran, he created from the mother bird. Jesus in the Quran, he resurrected people from death. Jesus in the Quran, he can heal any illness, any disease. Jesus in the Quran, he can tell you what you hide in your mind and your house. That's what God is. The verse after it is more stupid. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why it's more stupid? Who knows? Let us see who of you is uh, thinking deeply. So Allah is saying here, Okay, well, they want me to send angels for them to believe. I am not going to send angels. I will send angels only if the one who live in the earth is what? Is angels. That's what the verse is saying, correct? Do you agree, guys? That's what it's saying. But this is stupid. That's mean Muhammad, he never saw an angel. He never spoke to an angel because Allah confirmed he will never send an angel unless the one he will send him to is an angel too. Do you understand? Allah sent only angels to angels, human to human. So Muhammad never saw an angel. In order for Jibreel to come to Muhammad, Muhammad, he have to be an angel. And this is what the verse is saying. So 
so now you Muslims if you ask me why God came to us as a man the Quran saying that a human being they are always looking for more than a human to believe Jesus is a man yet he is God your Quran saying that the reason you don't believe because the one who came to you is a man and look like you Muslims you rejected Jesus as we see just because he's a man the Quran saying that which means the Quran saying you're a fool correct guys is that correct the Quran saying to the Muslims you are doing foolishness you reject messengers because they are a human So if you reject them as messengers just because they are a human, what about you reject them for being God and a human? That is bigger. Same time, Allah said, I will never send any messenger unless he is from the same kind of the one I sent to. So angel will be sent to angels, human will be sent to human. So who is Jibreel? How he was sent to Muhammad? That is a stupid statement. That's me. Muhammad never saw an angel. He never met an angel. Again, guys, how many of you did subscribe to my other account? How many of you? Please don't forget because we will go live using the other account. We will put this account for a sleep for some time. This account became so big, and that other accounts are still very few subscribing so be sure and please inform your friends and the admin is posting for you the link uh, for the the other account and by the way I'm going to give out for those who subscribe to my new account and the give out I will give you uh, I can give you 72 versions because we are out of uh, versions for now but I promise you brother that when Allah sent me the angel Jibreel, uh, I will ask him for versions. Uh, by the way, we'll have version male and version female, uh, just to make everybody satisfied. All right? And they are version for real. I mean, uh, we do uh, surgery to make them versions, but I mean, at the end of the day, you receive a version. There is a product in China. It's called Virgin Again. I mean, it's very famous in Middle East. If you come to Indonesia, talk Arabic language. What? I don't know why. Why the message disappear? The guy was saying something. I don't know why uh, YouTube uh, block uh, text immediately sometime. all right yeah this is my account this is my other video account please subscribe there and inform your friends and actually i will post it in the comment under this video for those people who they come and watch later they will be able to join there YouTube anyway guys I hope we have a good time together today and I might go again live again I'm not sure if I could and again you will find the link for the video for my new channel underneath of the in the in the comment when the video when we stop live podcasting here we go. I posted there. Any uh, question? Any Muslim want to say something to us? Any Mohammedan? By the way, even Muslims, when they meet each other, they greet each other by kissing each other three times. Hmm. What do you say?
uh, uh, guys look at this guy he said to me <clears throat> let me show you his name is I don't know CP why you are scared of me okay because I'm a smart person I will answer you from your name I don't know brother <laughs> I mean who are you you idiot <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean you see I understand why sometimes there is atheist atheist the first thing he would say why God created those idiots but if you are an atheist you should ask yourself the same question too but because you look like one <laughs> <laughs> why you are scared of me why <laughs> why huh uh -huh, huh why I mean come on tell us why <laughs> all right anyway guys I want to say thank you can a man baptism God this is important can a man baptism God you see if you if you see uh, the the story of Jesus the baptism of Jesus is different from any one baptism uh, first of all it's a sign secondly it's an announcement and number three it's a message for you when you get baptism when you get baptism you receive the Holy Spirit for Jesus it's an announcement this is why it says that when he was baptized there was, was an announcement for mankind. This is my only begotten son. In the Quran, you will see the God of Islam. He spoke about baptism. But Muhammad, he could not practice it. Do we have any Muslim would like to say something to us about the baptism in the Quran? I'm sure the Muslim they never heard this before that in the Quran there's baptism. I know this website is not working. Uh, let us try again and what happened? Website froze. In what happened? All right. Let us open another website. As long as one stop walking. <sighs> and oh man okay the other website is working so we will use it this is search.com search true.com As you see here, chapter 2, verse number 138, it says, and you can read any translation you want. Who can do baptism better than Allah? Who can do baptism better than Allah? You see Muslims? Muslims, when Allah, he did baptism. When Allah, your God, he did baptism. Who is the Muslim want to tell me? Any Abdul? The baptism of Allah and who can baptize better than Allah? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, Allah is really funny. He make fun of the Christians 
yet he tried to copy them yet he don't practice it when you Muslims get baptized by Allah the other website is working now let us see Any Muslim? Whoever baptized you, ask him to give your money back. What does that mean? You see, the Muslims are very funny. I suppose I mean silly. I ask well, how Allah He speak about baptism, and you Muslims never get baptism. When your Prophet Muhammad get baptism, all of us we knew what baptism mean. Baptism have to be done by water by a liquid So when you Muslims when Muhammad get baptism by that water and When Allah he baptized Muhammad Fake God fake prophet fake stories fake news Any Muhammadan have an answer And why Allah he need to do baptism? You tell me. What is that? Do you Muslims now believe in baptism? I'm sure. I'm telling you. You see, Muslims they come to watch my video, by the way. Do you know why? To learn about their cult. Everything they hear here is a shocking news for them. I assure you, none of those Abdurs in the bushes they heard that in Islam there is baptism. How many of you heard of this first time? How many? I'm sure a lot of you. Yeah, well, this is what Christian Prince is about. You see, the reason I sometimes like I repeat the same things because there's things we use and we need. But if you, uh, I, I, I am like, a, let's say, a library, and the book is there, but you have to, uh, you know, move your finger, says, I want that book. So if you don't ask me about certain, like this guy, he asked about baptism, so we answer. So if you want to know, you know, the more you share with us, the more answers, new answers, and new information will come to you. Because I cannot say whatever I have in my head just to say it. I don't know what I have in my head. I mean, it's like crazy head. Uh, <clears throat> any Muslim? I'm asking about uh, perfection. I'm just wondering about why we, God created Lucifer as uh, a perfect being and gave him such attribute and power while he knew uh, that from this perfect power well you know God he created God he created the, the Bible says that he created the, uh, 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 all of us and all of us there is bad and there is good and Satan is no different because we believe in free will we believe in free will so if I choose to be evil that's not mean that God he created me for the purpose of a creating evil no he, he create at the end of the day he created evil yes because he created me being evil and okay I chose to be evil so I am who I am but God he did not create me for that purpose however in the Quran the story is different as long as you are a Muslim guys what the Quran says isn't it Allah he says that Quran shaitan Are appointed by Allah. And Allah, He created human shaitan and genie shaitan. Chapter 6, verse number 112. If you don't like this translation, we can use different translation for you. What translation you like? Do you see it? 
Allah appointed shaitan to be shaitan not only he appointed him to be shaitan he appointed him to target people so according to the Quran shaitan is an employee of Allah is not someone opposing Allah if shaitan opposing Allah he cannot be appointed by Allah correct guys when I say I appointed you to do this job it's mean and you do it that's mean you agree with me to obey me I am the boss you are my employee your God saying that Allah he appointed shaitan to be the enemy in the Bible it's not the story in the Bible God created angel he did not create shaitan is that correct Christians God did not create it did not create Satan he created an angel all his creation they have a free will to obey him or to disobey him and angels is no different he chose to be disobedience that's it in Islam the story is different I will give you one more reference to inspire you with the stupidity of your prophet if you don't mind your prophet said all of us renew the story of Adam that he commits sin and Allah he kicked him out from heaven supposedly which is a story he'd copy from other belief but the story in Islam is very pathetic according to the Quran Adam was appointed by Allah and shaitan was appointed by Allah to, com to commit sin. Read carefully, my friend. And this is your prophet saying it and repeating it three times, as usual. The prophet of Allah, <clears throat> who is the prophet of Allah supposed to be Muhammad, who is else? That's it. Muhammad is the best. Forget about the rest. The prophet of Allah said, Adam and Moses argued about each other. Musa said to Adam, Adam, you are our father who disappoint us and turn us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh, Musa, Allah for favored you with his talk. And he wrote the Torah for you. And here the, here the problem. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation? And here again, the Trinity Muhammad, he repeated the same comment three times. The same statement that Adam, he confuted Moses. Adam, he confuted Moses, which means Adam was right and Moses was a donkey, according to your prophet. And here we find many stupid mistakes in the story. How Moses is a prophet, yet he did not understand the concept of the original sin of Islam. Because in Islam, it rejects the original sin. Yet Musa is obviously he believes in the Christian original sin. So according to your religion, Musa is a donkey. Yet he is a prophet, and he died, and still he don't believe in Islam, because Islamic religion does not believe in original sin. Musa accused Adam that because of you we are out of heaven. Adam debated Musa, and he got him busted. He say hello are you going to play me for what Allah wrote for me which means the sin of Adam is something Allah wrote it's a scenario do you understand guys what does that mean it's mean shaitan spoke to Adam shaitan he whispered to Adam was was appointed by Allah and this is what Allah want Allah made shaitan or Satan whisper to Adam and Eve Allah wanted Adam and Eve to be misleaded. Allah forced Shaitan to do it, for this is a fate. And this fate is written for me 40 years before my creation. Did I answer you, my friend? The Muslim? SG? Did I answer you? And here we will see the stupidity of the Quran and Muhammad because 
so why why Adam is out of heaven he did not commit sin it's Allah who made Allah who wrote his uh, you know his fate do you see how stupid this is this is here showing us that Allah is not just because he is the one who forced you to commit sin he made you this is your fate that's it can you change your fate no you cannot so the fate of Adam, you cannot blame him for it. It says there, this is your Muslim translation, this is your prophet saying, Can do you blame me? Which means you cannot blame me. Correct, guys? When somebody says, Do you blame me? That's mean you cannot blame me. So Moses is blaming Adam for the sin. Adam saying, You cannot blame me for my sin, for this is something written for me. What do you want more? Okay, it says you are an ex-Muslim. Good for you, my friend. I'm oh, sorry. I thought you are a Muslim. <clears throat> and this is why Islam does not make sense in any way, in any mean. It's a stupid cult. No problem, Francis. By the way, I am here to help all everybody, not only Muslims. I mean, Muslims, ex-Muslims, Christians. Everybody wanna, uh, you know, this is this is a free school. Every time, I mean, almost we go every day, right? We go live, but every time we come here, as if we are learning something new. And not only that, you see, we are not only share education. I'm sharing you, sharing with you my way of thinking, which is very helpful to refute. You see, I think in the way of refutation, not only in the way of explanation. So my explanation come in a target to refute the one who have or who oppose. And that make it very powerful because we connect the dots from everywhere. We don't just mention one thing and just we stop there. And that's because that's what we know. You see, if you notice, some people, they claim that they have knowledge. But yet if they want to debate, they have to set a debate three months in advance so they can go and search on YouTube and Baltoc and whatever. I mean, a Google and they print a lot of paper. They are they don't know nothing. They want to know what the topic before they can debate because they are not ready. They don't have knowledge. Here we go. I'm here. I say the Muslims call me. I do not need to get ready. They cannot do that. To be able to take a call. And you do not know what the person will say you have to have you have to be sure what of your knowledge but Muslims if they want to debate you like Shabir Ali and those kids uh, give us the topic and three months in advance and now we go and search in Google and we printed some articles and we make headlines and we memorize them and supposedly I'm a scholar none of you is a scholar and none of you knows what he's talking about. And by the way, even the Quran says there is no scholar in Islam. The only scholar is the one who says, I believe, which is very stupid. Do you know that? Anyone knows which verse says that? Who knows? Who remember? Who remember which verse says that the only scholar there's no scholar in Islam the only scholar is the one who says we agree okay we go to chapter 3 verse number 7 Allah in the Quran showing us that Quran is a stupid it says that no one knows what the Allah what, what the Quran mean save Allah but none knows it's hiding meaning save Allah. So who is the scholar? It, it says there nobody knows. And then it says, and those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say we believe in all of it. So a scholar in Islam is the one who say we believe, not the one who knows. Because it says there nobody knows the meaning. Have you ever heard of a stupid statement more than this? Muslims, I'm serious. Have you ever heard of something more stupid than this? How it says nobody knows what it's mean, save Allah. And then the scholar is the one who says we believe. How you can be scholar then? How you can be firmly in knowledge if you do not know it? 
Guys, I'm very firmly in knowledge and I do not know what it does mean. And this is because I'm very firmly in knowledge. And let me acknowledge for you, I know nothing and that makes me a scholar. And my name is Zakir Naik. How in the world this guy is firmly grounded in knowledge but yet you do not know what it's mean? Do you remember guys, Dr. Rohi from al Azhar University, who remember? When I asked him what the word Allah means, do you know what he said? Who, who remember? You can watch the video. He said, we do not know who is the first one who said Allah. <laughs> we do not know what Allah means. Go watch it. This is a guy who have a PhD from al Azhar University. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, them, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, nobody know, save Allah, Lazar, save Allah, say save Allah. Did you say save Allah? I mean, you are singing, nobody knows. No, Allah knows, Allah knows best. Hmm? Clear and unclear verses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, I did not read it because this is between two brackets. But hold on, why there is a clear and any clear verses? I mean, if Allah He sent us a book, I mean, what the point? The point is, He said that because He is the devil. Look at this. So those who their heart there is division, they will use the any clear verses. So Allah is the devil. But those are Muslims because the one who is reading the Quran and believing in the Quran is a Muslim. So Allah is deceiving the Muslims. He giving them Quran, which they cannot understand, so they will be deceived. So how this is, can be a book of guidance? You know what I mean? <clears throat> no, I like to go to Indonesia, actually. I like to go. But but if I go to Indonesia, I'm not going to tell the people online I'm going to Indonesia. I will tell I will tell you after I come back. Uh, if I say I'm going to Indonesia, I will be killed in the airport. I mean, you can imagine how beautiful uh, 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 ISIS uh, will be waiting for me. No, I want to do that. All right. Did the shake from Egypt call me back? Nobody, no, no way. Yeah, but nobody knows my face. But if you sit with me, if you speak two words, you will know it's me. I mean, if there is a, a thousand men talking and I, I talk right away, you will know my voice. My voice is not a normal, like average, uh, everybody voice. So you will recognize me very easy. <clears throat> I told you once I was in the Philippines, I was in a coffee shop and there's a gentleman, he have a Bible in his hand and he is doing study, like doing notes. So I said, let me talk to him and see what, you know, maybe we can do similar in his church too. So I said, so what are you studying? What you? So he, you know, he started talking to me and then he said to me, now he heard me. He said, you know what? I know you. I said, no, you don't know me. He said, no, 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 I know you. I said, no, I don't think we met before. And the guy is thinking, he's squeezing his head. He said, I I strongly believe I know you. Are you Christian Prince? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I know you. <clears throat> uh, anyway, are we done? Guys, did we subscribe to the new channel in YouTube? Did we subscribe? Thank you, all of you. Actually, for, you know, for me, I wish I can visit you, all of you. I know many of you would like to have me as a guest in their home and eat all your food. Yummy, yummy. But it's hard to do to, to make promises uh, like this because, because of what I do. You know, there's a lot of people hate me too, and you know that, you know. Otherwise, I know that many, many of you would love to. Uh, I receive many invitations from many people, many beautiful people. They, they invite me, but I cannot really accept unless I know the person I can trust. You know. Uh, but 
You never know. Maybe you can meet me one day in a seminar I'm doing or something. Thank you all for the love. And, uh, uh, you know, and even if, uh, some, you know, one day something happened to me, I mean, you have thousands and thousands of my videos. So I will be uh, on my books. You see, a human being will go anyway. I'm, I'm going to die sooner or later. The Messiah, he said, let the dead bury the dead. So uh, it's just a matter of time. And the best thing is that now we are lucky. We have not only books. Before, people have only books to write so they can transform information to generations to come. Today, we have internet and we have videos. And look how lucky we are. You know, when I start uh, uh, exposing this time, I don't have any of those tools. I mean, the computer... Uh, first time I get a computer, actually, I turn it on. I do not know how to turn it off. You know, like I hit the same switch. <laughs> you know, those like you, you you hit the switch, it turn on, right? Okay, and then you turn it off. How you turn it off? You hit the switch again, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to use the computer. I never used computer before. So you turn it on, it's not turned off. Like what's wrong with this computer? I thought there's something wrong with it. I push the bomb, it's not turned for turn off. Like, like, what? I spent all this money for nothing? <laughs> yeah, this is the new channel. They are posting it for you guys. Just subscribe, please. The admin is posting it for you. Don't forget to subscribe. And there's a link under, under the video here in the info. If you click on it, you will find it too. And uh, so, so, and maybe next time we go live, we'll go, uh, we go and uh, use that channel. All right? Um, me and my family, we will feed you Japanese food also, sushi. Yeah, actually, once I, I, I met a Japanese guy. Japanese are very nice people, by the way. And he was a very, uh, like, uh, very polite. And uh, he, he uh, I, I actually, I met him in Japan. So this is not normal to see, to meet a Japanese. I was in Japan. But I was in the airport. So he was sitting next to me. And I asked him, uh, you know, the problem in, Jap in uh, most of the airport in Japan, uh, all the signs is in Japanese. There's no English. Um, so I said to him, do you know where is the bathroom? So, you know, he pointed his finger. I went there and I came back. I sat in, uh, in the same place. And then he started talking to me, where are you from, etc. And then he said, you, uh, your English have an accent, uh, you know. So I said, I'm from the Middle East. And we start talking about religion. Now, this Japanese, he said, I met a Muslim here in Japan, and they are trying to convert people to Islam. But he did not convince me at all, because uh, 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 what he said, it was sound good. But what I see, it sound evil. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I open my TV, I see evil stuff coming out of Islam. You speak to Muslims, they speak about good stuff. So how come you speak good, but you do bad? And that's a very wise uh, statement, right? How come you speak good, but you do bad? So you speak good about mercy, if you're merciful of Allah, the mercy, the mercy of Muhammad, but you do the opposite. Killing, kidnapping, cutting hands, cutting like you you just told me the news about Saudi Arabia, they crucified people. That's evil. Because a crucifying crucifying people is not a punishment, it's a torture. Correct? And by the way, this is in the Quran. This is Quran. This is not a tradition. Some people they might say to you, This is not Islam. This is Islam and Muhammad not only that Muhammad he put it nails in their eyes Anyone who wage war on Allah and war on Allah by the way me right now I'm waging war on Allah not necessarily a physical war Anyone who wage war on Allah By disobeying Allah and his messenger He, he shall be killed crucified Cutting their hands and their feet off from opposite direction. This is Quran, chapter five, verse number thirty-three. 
because some liars they might say to you this is not Islamic ISIS was practicing that and this yet the Muslim they say to us this is not Islamic that's a fact it's a lie this is Quran as you see the purpose of this is torture is not a punishment no more and here you notice the fake God adopting the tradition of torturing of the Romans correct guys in different verse the Quran's claim that Pharaoh he do uh, uh, crucifixion too <laughs> which is stupid the one who come with the crucifixion punishment or tr torture is the Roman right uh, now how many of you is from Asia here listening how many Asian people they are still with us in the chat I'm trying just to see uh, like uh, doing early like today is it good for Asian people okay is the timing was good yeah Asian Ocean I mean yeah, Indonesia India we love you all and I love your food ah, Asian people I'm coming after you <laughs> yeah uh, <clears throat> All right, so we will try to do like a different timing so those who live in Asia can join us and they can earn the knowledge and those who live in Europe they can join us too and those who they are in America and that's why you notice I'm doing like different timing so please subscribe not only this channel the admin he posted for you the other channel don't forget and I have actually in the info a link for it now so you can subscribe because from now on we will start doing broadcasts there and we will put this account for some time to sleep uh, and uh, because here we have tons of subscribers and there we have only 4,000 so we want to make a balance it's a backup all right and the admin is posting for you uh, Philippine okay well this is the good thing about the internet here we go we have we are a family from around the world all of us we share one thing the love of the Messiah and the love of all mankind love your enemy and bless them and love love is God God is love God is not about hate and you see here you notice and this is what I experienced myself I live in the Middle East when you speak to someone who is a Muslim always is angry he's unhappy I never met a Muslim is happy even they try to make themselves look they are always angry for the Holy Spirit have nothing to do with them they are not blessed by the Holy Spirit when you are with the Christ you are a different person you are a different creature you are always in peace the way you see the world the way you think the way you 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 uh, you, you, you appeal with others the way you receive others is different I never saw a Muslim is happy so if you are happy, why this to America and death to Israel? And why you want to kill everybody? <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> if you are happy, how you can believe in the Quran? And the Quran saying you are not happy. Are you believing the Quran or not? The Quran says you are not happy. You want to challenge me? Who is the Muslim want to challenge me to prove to him that the Quran says you cannot be happy and you are a Muslim? Hello? A Muslim and he's happy where which country thank you fee Suleiman Solomon anyway we are here to challenge the cult of Islam and as you see they are in this ability and we have our pal talk open and yet we could not get any Abdul to call us not even one why do Muslim wear a short trouser because this is uh, the Prophet he told them that this is uh, from your knee and above this is aura which means uh, 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 like a vagina so the Muslim man he have to wear a long short 
you know, down his knee, otherwise he is showing his vagina. And the women in Islam, she have ten vagina. Anyone knows what they are? The women in Islam, she have ten vagina, not one. Obviously, all her body part, her hair, her uh, hands, her feet, her, those are vagina. So she had to cover all of them. And when she get married, she cover only what vag one vagina, which is the real vagina, when she get married. But the rest is still are exposed, so she have to wear a burqa. Yeah. And this is why I don't know if you saw that in Saudi Arabia, the the Muslims trying to force women to wear one eye burqa because they are saying why she have two eyes. But the point, you know. Why? Why? Why they need? Uh, why she need two eyes, Burka? All right, guys, do you hear me? I'm sorry that uh, I lost connection. Uh, this is, was my security. It disconnect. It blocked my browsers because I opened that website. I have a very tough security, so. Am I heard now? All right, that's good. Yeah, I have a very good system. So anything like uh, anything suspicious in a website, it's right away to block it. Uh, and by the way, this system is made by Arabia. I have to be honest with you. I mean, we are the best to make those uh, stuff. Nobody can make stuff like us. I mean, anything have to do with the, yeah. So now they are saying that the women, she should have a burqa like uh, uh, one eye. And even that should have this. Let me show you in the screen. Give me a second. Which I find it very attractive, by the way. I think if women, they start wearing this, I will find my bride. Right now, I'm confused. I mean, which one, which one, which one? If they wear this, all of them, they look the same. And look how unbelievable, look how beautiful this is. It's so, so good. Oh my! I, I I have to change it because I'm I feel I am really uh, tempted. And by the way, you might marry one of those, and then you take the burqa and you find she's a man. She have a mustache, she have a beard. You never know. I mean, what do you see? What what, what is the guarantee that what is under that thing is is it even a human? Who is there? Right. Actually, why Allah did not make burqa for men? If if we men we have burqa too, then uh, it's very easy to get married. 
women they will not know how we look like and and the one who is unlucky like me then is not good looking you know you can fool them you know they don't they will not know until they marry you and that says it's too late hmm? I like her lipstick to be honest with you anyway I want to leave you with this I look at this one I mean look at this one this one is even better what the heck is that me what is that oh boy No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. That's it. We are done, with, guys. We are done for today. No comment. No more. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to my to the other channel so we can go and do a live broadcast there when we go next time. And I want to say thank you for being here. And don't forget to read my books if you are interested to have reference handy in your hands. We have in many languages: English, Dutch, German. Swedish, Spanish, um, uh, French. Uh, so I encourage you all to tell your friends, especially by the way, we have our French, our uh, our uh, Spanish book is out already. And tell your friends about it so they can have the book. It's very well uh, made. And if you speak a French, please don't forget to tell your friends about the French book because until now, few people who speak a French, they knew about the book. So don't forget to mention our books in all languages so people they might learn and knowledge is power you see when you have knowledge you are a different person people respect you people they welcome you people they enjoy listening to you you speak foolishness even if you are a very good look person or women or, or, or man people they will run away from you so knowledge is power it change you it make you powerful Powerful in the good way, and it can protect you, protect your family. So earn your power, for this is something you can earn, not you cannot buy. If you buy my book, does not mean you earn the, the the knowledge. You have to read it, and you have to learn from it. Nobody can buy power. Only in Islam, knowledge can come in dishes, as you remember. Maybe next time we go alive, we can talk about knowledge and dishes as Muhammad he claimed. Allah he installed a dish of faith and wisdom in his chest. Until we see you again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye. Take care.